So who is losing a hand in the lightsaber duel in The Last Jedi? Let's talk a little bit about that. So it's a bit of a Star Wars tradition for one of the up-and-coming characters to lose a hand during the lightsaber duel. It's kind of sad, but that's just how it goes. And it usually kind of goes along with something of that character's maybe arrogance or kind of rushing into things. So like Anakin lost his hand, his arm, to Dooku in Attack of the Clones, for example. He was kind of rushing in to fight with Dooku without Obi-Wan's help, which wasn't really the smartest move. He was just, yeah, kind of impatient. And then he also lost a bunch of other appendages when he fought Obi-Wan in the following movie, Revenge of the Sith. So that represented his turn to the dark side and his overconfidence as well. And then you go to Luke in Empire Strikes Back, where he very famously loses his hand during the Darth Vader duel and kind of during the I am your father scene, that's probably one of the most famous Star Wars scenes of all time. And same deal there where uh, Luke had rushed um, out of Dagobah, he hadn't completed his training, and he wasn't really looking at the larger picture that Yoda was thinking of. And so, yeah, he rushed out to duel with Vader even though he wasn't really ready for it and he lost his hand essentially because of his arrogance and his rushing and losing a hand also seems to represent kind of being uh, tempted by the dark side so that's something I mean you see when Luke kind of flexes his new hand in Return of the Jedi there are several moments where he's kind of trying not to be as a uh, machine as his father, you know, Anakin, Darth Vader, who, as Obi-Wan said, is ma more machine now than man. Um, and so whenever Luke is kind of flexing his own hand, he's kind of reflecting on that and, and sort of almost seemingly hoping not to follow in his father's footsteps in that regard. So, coming back to The Last Jedi, who do you think is going to lose a hand? I think that Disney will follow in this Star Wars tradition, even though they say that this next movie, The Last Jedi, is supposed to be different from Empire Strikes Back, much more so than, you know, Force Awakens and A New Hope were very similarly structured, and that's some people's criticism of the film, but apparently The Last Jedi is not supposed to follow directly in the footsteps of Empire Strikes Back that same way, and yet... I kind of think they'll possibly keep this story element because it is a very kind of symbolic Star Wars story element and I think a lot of people will be expecting it. So yeah, my guess is actually that Kylo will lose a hand. Uh, he's just been so, such an unstable character and it seems like he's being tempted to turn back to the light side again in this film. We'll see exactly how far that goes, but I think that somehow that will end up with him losing a hand. I also think it's possible Luke could end up losing another hand. Maybe the same hand, maybe a different hand. Um, in a way it would be more interesting if it were a different hand, because if you cut off the same hand then you just kind of replace it again, right? So, I don't know. Um, because those are the two characters I sort of see as possibly being the most arrogant. Of course, Ray is another um, strong candidate for this to happen to, but I don't know. For some reason, I don't think she'll be the one to lose a hand. Obviously, I could be wrong, but yeah, I'm predicting that Kylo and possibly Luke will be losing a hand. Because there does seem to be something off with Luke in this movie and it's hard to place at this moment when we don't have enough information yet but that's just kind of my guess so yeah let me know what you guys think who's losing a hand in this film or do you think that somehow maybe no one's losing a hand that's of course always possible too but you know it is a Star Wars tradition so we'll see